Hello, this is Crafty Andy and long time no see. Welcome to my home. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of the projects that I've been doing and some of the things that I have come up with. But at any rate, this is the Nitty Naughty that I made out of a wine rack. And it's varnished so I just couldn't see paying like $40 for something like this. Um, so, as the person that I am, I decided to go to the thrift store and see what I could find that I could make into a nitty naughty. And I found a wooden wine rack and I unassembled it and assembled it back. And did some staining and some varnishing and here it is. Also, if you're looking for something for your spindles, look what I found. This is like a nice candle holder and your spindles go here. This is some of the spindles that I have. And uh, sometimes when you're spinning and you have the bats or the roving or whatever they call them, uh, this is one that I dyed, and let me tell you, I prefer to dye this when it's like this, because it dries a lot faster, and I believe that it takes the dye even better. But uh, depending on how you're going to do your yarn, you can divide this like this. Huh? See? This is something that you can work with when you spin. And even this one, you can divide in two. If you're going to do like a, especially if you're doing a, like a, how you call that, a two-ply, because this is going to be like a Worcester weight anyway. So I divide this in strands like this so it's easier for me to do my drafting. And sometimes you can do a little bit of pre-drafting to make it easier on you. So I'm going to use just a little bit because I don't want to take too long from here. And this is one of my spindles, which I kind of like varnish a little bit. So if you see, this is usually what I do now, okay, with the yarn or the roving, and then. I pull a little bit and this little fluffy at the end of your the yarn that you're making is what's going to grab onto the new yarn. You give it a spin, you hold it somewhere in here so that the twist gets saved up in here. And how do you know it's too much? Uh, one or two of these twirls, I think is enough, but you touch it and it's very rigid. And if you notice, it travels up. So this is enough now that we're going to let it travel up, see? It sometimes spins back. Yeah. If it's too much spin, you sometimes will break the yarn. So sometimes that it's the... You have to learn. Practice is what makes this a good 
uh, and it's a craft. You have to practice, and if you can practice every day, it's even better. So what I'm doing is I'm unraveling the yarn a little bit so that the kink or the twist can travel up. And then I roll it up. And sometimes as little as that, then I park it, which is this motion, put it between your legs and holding it with your knees. And then you untwist a little bit and draft. And the twist travels. Spin it. Hold it. Draft. Let the twist travel. And sometimes, I like to do this, I don't know, it just makes it like good for yarn. But anyway, this is for this. And I wanted to show you some of the silk that I have been dyeing. And this is what it looks like. It's still a little bit wet. But I'm also spinning silk. And I wanted to show you the Angora. My God, this is like spinning a cloud. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Angora. See how thin this is? And you do it like any regular yarn. This I think you benefit from doing it over the fold, which means you take a little piece like this, right? This is so soft, my God. And then you just do a little bit of a like a peek out. And now we're going to spin some Angora. It's very thin. And you need a lot of twist so that when I show you what it looks like, see that diamond shape? You cannot, okay, so see how it got So what we do is, see me pulling? This feels like cobweb, I tell you. And I wanted to show you, see? See how it travels up? This is going to be, this is just a very fun project. Anyway, this is Crafty Andy, and I just wanted to show you some Angora uh, spinning. And the same thing that I do with the everything else in spinning, I do with this. Just make sure that it's not too tight so it doesn't break. And that's about it. So this is Crafty Andy, and thank you for allowing me in your home and let you see the spin of Angora. This is Crafty Andy.